Coach Rivera, you're out in Arizona for the owners' meetings, but you are an incredibly busy man. I want to start off with an honor that you received last week from the USO, the Achievement Award. What does that mean to you? Well, you know, it's one of the things that's very near and dear to me, and that's, you know, um, giving back to the to our military community. And it was just very fortunate to be recognized by the USO. Um, and, and again, I, I really do appreciate, again, what our military does for us. And of course, we know that you're always backing our military as well. It's much appreciated. So congratulations on that. And now the work, it continues um, out in Arizona. And one of the main things that you're charged with is you're on the competitions committee out there. Uh, only 10 members, and of that, only four of them are head coaches. How is it you found your way into being one that gets to vote on the rules that will go into play? Well, you know, I've been involved with the, uh, the, the uh, coaches committee. I was on the DEI committee. So, you know, just my involvement in some of the things that, that come up with the league's uh, best interest at mine, you know, I've, I've been able to be on those and be part of it and was invited a few years back. And so ever since then, I, I've been involved. And, you know, one of the things that we're, we're tasked with is you know, not just voting on, on the rules, but trying to make sure we can interpret them and, and put them in position to where they can be refereed uh, 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 fairly uh, each week. That was going to be a question I had. Uh, how hard is it to actually implement what you vote on? Um, but I'm assuming that there's some conversations, like how much are you talking with other coaches to say, okay, this is something that is important and we should pass? Oh, yes, it's very important. You know, what we do is w throughout the season and throughout the year uh, as a committee, we'll meet uh, periodically. Uh, certain things that have come up, we'll discuss. And we got to talk about what the ramifications are, what the unintended consequences are. Uh, and then we got to vet them and then throw them out to, to, to the coaches, listen to what they have to say, throw it out to the ownership, listen to what they have to say, and then formulate something that can be voted on uh, and agreed upon or not. And again, it's, it's important that you know we do this work just so everybody understands that it's been very carefully looked at. Uh, it's been talked about and discussed and we hopefully come to a really good decision. That's, that's a big plus for the league. And then when it comes to actually putting it into play on game day, does this give you at all a heads up with the officiating, a little bit of an edge? <laughs> I say it in jest. <laughs> well, it gives you a heads up about the officiating. I'm not sure about the edge, but yeah. it most certainly does give you a heads up. Uh, like you're out there with a lot of other head coaches. Um, what do you get from this? Because yeah. there's not a lot of times throughout the season, or throughout the year that you get to be with your peers outside of being competition with each other. No, it's really not. And, and so when you're here and you're in this environment, you know, there, there's a lot of relaxed time. There really is. There's an opportunity to sit down and talk and just meet these guys, listen to these guys. Um, sometimes you can get into some business discussions where you do talk about the, pl uh, you know, the play that's going on in the field. Uh, you can talk about players to a degree. I mean, you got to also be guarded. You don't want to give out any secrets. You know, I've had a couple of guys ask me, hey, how'd you guys do this? Or what were you guys thinking there? And, you know, you just got to be real careful because, you know, this is a league of beg, borrow and steal. Yeah, it might be a little too easy over a casual conversation to give a little bit too much up, but I'm sure it's nice camaraderie as well. Uh, part of that, we saw you sitting next to Andy Reid, uh, and we know that he's been an important um, person in your life and kind of a mentor, but how much is he able to kind of help you through the process of what to expect from Eric Bieniemy as well? Um, uh, it was really good. It was great. In fact, we got an opportunity to really talk about a lot of things, talk about why this is important for Eric and, you know, just the fact that, you know, he, he can get out from under Coach Reed's shadow and really show everybody that he is more than capable uh, to, to earn the opportunity to be a head coach in this league. So that was one of the things that we talked about. We talked a little bit about what they did schematically, just kind of get a good feel and understanding uh, even more so of some of the things that they're going to do, you know, that Eric's going to do on, on the offensive side for us. A lot of people are very excited to see what kind of offense he runs and the addition that he will bring. And in free agency, one of the focuses is trying to get that roster set and really a lot on the offensive line as well. Um, by adding Larson, Gates, Wiley, where do you feel the offensive line is heading into the new year? I think we're in a very good position. We're going to have a lot of co co competition with all the guys that, that, that we're, you know, that we've signed, the guys that were here that we, we re-signed and are coming back. So I'm really looking forward to, to the competition. I really am. I, I'm excited about us as the football team. I, I, I think we've done some things. We did things that we needed to do to, to put ourselves in the best position going into the draft as well. You know, we can now go into the draft not know, knowing that we don't have to do something. We can do what we believe is best for the football team. 
And we heard you say that was an important factor going into at the Combine, talking about what you do in free agency and how it can kind of free you up to make those moves. Do you still feel there's positions that you need to lock in on heading into the draft? Not necessarily, and, and that's kind of you know what the whole idea about going uh, into free agency and getting you know and getting active and, and and finding the kind of guys that we want here. That really helped us an awful lot to the point that you know this free may truly come down to being able to take the most uh, the best player available. So we're excited about it. It's, it. You know we still have a month as far as that process is concerned. So we're excited uh, and we're getting ourselves ready to go. Uh, let me ask you, because we haven't had a chance, um, Jacoby Brissett, what are you hoping he does to help challenge that quarterback room? Oh, I think he's, he's bringing a wealth of experience and knowledge. Um, he's very athletic. He's, he's, got a, he's got a quick trigger. You know, he gets that ball out quickly. Uh, a good decision maker. He can manage games, and he has the ability to make plays when needed. So this is going to be a real good competition. I think it's going to really help, you know, to, to, to really give us a chance to make sure we've put the best player on the field that we can. It's what it's all about, competition at every position. Uh, very exciting building the roster for the new year. Draft is coming up in the next month. Um, after owners meetings, what's next for you and the staff? Well, what's happening right now is, um, you know, they're on a little bit of an Easter break or spring break, I should say. Um, but when we get back in, we'll continue with our, our preparations for the draft. We got guys that are out right now going to these pro days. Um, we've got interviews that'll be happening. We got we got the uh, 30 in-person visits that we'll be finishing up as well. And then we'll come together two weeks before the draft and we'll do our readings. That's where we'll go through all of our reports. Uh, we'll listen to the uh, to the coaches. We'll talk about what uh, you know what we feel is um, our, our best positions of need. Um, you know, we'll hear from both Eric and, and Jack and, and Nate as far as our coordinators and, and let them tell us what, you know, what they think and what, what they're hoping to, to get out of, the, uh, out of the draft. No rest for the weary, but it is the season of hope. Coach, thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the owner meetings out in Arizona. Absolutely. Appreciate it, Julie. Thank you.